Misty tries it. Hello everyone, what is going on tonight? This is Brightside Dylan here, and tonight with me I got another chewing tobacco that I want to more or less try out and see if it's anything worth buying or not, considering the fact that this is actually a brand right here that I have never tried before. I have tried before. The name of it being called Skull, spelled S-K-O-A-L rather than S-K-U-L-L, -L, but, hey, I guess they don't want to imply this with death or anything, but, anyway, this is a kind of, a kind of flavor of Skull that I've never really tried before, this is berry tobacco and from the looks of it I'm getting the feeling that this may be a blackberry flavor or a blueberry flavor and call me crazy but I'm hoping that the adverti the product actually delivers as opposed to not delivering on what the product is promising. Anyway we're going to more or less give this an open right here and Oh, how about that? It's the typical tobacco that's not pouches and gets all of your teeth and stuff. And there's really no unique smell compared to something like wintergreen, which more or less had my mouth watering. And anyway, folks, we're going to reach in here where everything is mostly wet and hopefully if you ever decide to buy this for yourself, this won't... Just be sure of it and be careful to not grab a whole bunch to where you leave a mess all over the counter or table. But anyway, folks, I'm going to put this right here in my mouth and hopefully this delivers. Bone up a tea, folks! Okay, folks, so what did I think of this? I'm sorry, folks, but I could not taste any berry in this whatsoever. It felt, this more or less felt like the equivalent of chewing on some mud that had a little bit of flavored toilet cleaner in it. Oh, granted, it's nothing too terrible. In fact, the flavor of my tongue is very nice. But then again, I did not really get any berry flavor out of this. And it's hard to tell what berry they were going with for because I didn't taste any particular berry. I didn't taste any blueberry or blackberry or raspberry. Or strawberry. And considering the fact that they're trying to advertise this as sort of a grape product type thing, I'm just going to say yes, this is more or less some um, beautiful, hopeful, wonderful, false advertising. I mean, come on, come on, companies. You should just more or less stick to just calling this regular tobacco, and nobody would bad an eye whenever they see something like this. 
I don't particularly hate this type right here, but in terms of other tobaccos out there, you may just want to stick to getting more or less something else for your taste buds right here, folks. So, all in all, this wasn't really all that great. If anything, I give it more or less a 5.3 out of 10. Didn't give me what it advertised, and if anything, I would just recommend men getting something else as opposed to falling for more false advertising. But what do I, of all people, know? But anyway, guys, we are going to bring this video to a close, and Skull Berry Tobacco Blend. Have you tried this before? What is your thought? What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Please let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, folks, be sure to like the video, maybe subscribe for more episodes of BDS Tries It, and maybe share this around with a few of your friends and family members. But anyway, folks, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me, and as always, happy chewing.